Hey Boltrons, Kristen here from the Brush Nip Bolt Squad. Today I'm going to show you how to create an awesome quiz game using the Choice Champ template. To get started, head to the Breshna website at breshna.io and create an account if you don't have one or log in if you do, and then scroll down until you see the game templates. Look for the Choice Champ template and then click the Create button to launch the Game Creator. The Game Creator is where we'll be adding different customizations for our game. First, we're going to head to the right side of the Game Creator, starting with the Settings tab. Under the Game Info, we can customize our game's title, tags, category, and description. We can also choose whether or not we'd like to collect our players' emails. I'll be leaving this off for my game. So, let's choose a title for our game. I'm actually going to go with a, I think, Christmas quiz. Or simple Christmas quiz. Next, we'll customize tags for our game. For my game, I'm going to go with Christmas, Santa, and Holiday. Now we got to choose a category for our game. My game will be mostly educational, but uh, the other categories include education, social and entertainment, games for good, enterprise, and health. So I will actually leave mine on education. And again, you can choose whether or not you would like to collect player emails. I'm going to leave that off for my game. Finally, for the Game Info tab, and to wrap up the information here, under the Game Info tab, we have our description. I'm just going to put a simple Christmas quiz. A simple Christmas quiz by Cuddle of Death. Alright, that looks good to me. So now we're going to scroll back up and click on the Questions tab, which is located on the right hand side of your browser on the exact same side that the settings were on. So we'll click that here. And under the questions tab, you'll be able to add, delete, and change any questions and make any additional just adjustments. So we're going to start by selecting question one. And by default, since this is a new game, it's going to be on question one. And you'll notice here you can actually change your avatar and interface. Just to let you know that you can do this on the left hand side as well by clicking on the different tabs, but I actually like to go through the settings tab just to do everything. I feel like it makes things even more simple. So we're going to go ahead and customize our avatar by clicking on the avatar here. Uh, this will open up the avatar tab on the left side and you can browse all the different options over here just to see what we might like to add to our game. I think I'll add this little bunny. I think that it looks really cute, so I'm going to add that. And then next we're going to change the interface here. You can choose between blue or purple. I actually think I like the purple, so I'm going to go with that. Now something that is actually really cool as well is the question can be image or text. So just to show you, I'm going to upload an image by clicking the upload your image button. And I'm going to upload this cat here that I've created. Uh, I like this default crop, so I'm going to press the crop button. And you won't notice anything yet until you actually publish your game, which we'll do here in just a couple of minutes. But if you're looking at the screen as it is right now and you see this, what is this? It's just going to show uh, the picture that we customize underneath it. So right now we're going to have that cool cat picture. It's going to say, what is this? So a couple of answers here. The correct answer would be Santa Claus, but of course, bad cat pun. We have to put Santa Claus. <laughs> now we get to customize our wrong answer. So a wrong answer would be Pinocchio. Another wrong answer would be Elsa. And I would say the Tooth Fairy. That is a very wrong answer. And for our closing answer, which is what will be shown to uh, the player whenever they guess, uh, whether they guess correctly or incorrectly. So I, what I like to do for quiz games is I always like to include the correct answer in the closing answer, uh, just in case it's like an educational game or something. So for this, uh, the cat's name is Santa Claus. Congrats if you got it correct. And with that, that's actually our first question down. So let's go ahead and see, do we have another question? I think we do by default. 
Uh, so we're going to click on this question too. Otherwise, if you don't see this, just simply press the add question button. So clicking on the question two tab, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep our avatar and interface the same. And this time we're not going to upload an image, uh, but we are going to type a question here. This question will be, um, what is the name of one of Santa's reindeer? And then of course the correct answer is going to be Rudolph. And for some wrong answers, uh, we'll use Pikachu, we'll use Optimus Prime, and we will also <laughs> use Elsa again. So for this one, uh, the correct answer is Rudolph. So we're gonna put Rudolph is the name of one of Santa's reindeer. Congrats if you got it correct. Now I generally like to add around like five questions or so, but this is just essentially a rinse and repeat process. So uh, for our next question, I will put, what was the first song to be played in space? The correct answer is Jingle Bells. A wrong answer would be Silent Night. Uh, another wrong answer would be Deck the Halls. And another wrong answer would be Frosty the Snowman. Just like the other questions and answers, this closing answer will say the correct answer, which was Jingle Bells. So Jingle Bells was the first ever song to be played in space. Congrats if you got it correct. So how many questions is that? That was our third question. On to the fourth question here. Can I think of another one? Uh, what does mistletoe mean? The correct answer <laughs> for mistletoe, no joke, it means dung on a twig. So a wrong answer would be branch of love, which is, it sounds like an answer that someone might guess. So I'm gonna put that one in there. Stick of magic and the kissing twig. <laughs> so the closing answer, uh, can you believe that mistletoe actually means dung on a twig. Uh, congrats if you got it correct. And I actually think for this one, I will leave it at four questions for now. So now that we have customized our game, we have customized our avatar interface and our questions. The last thing that we can do is actually customize our music track for our game. To do that, just head over to the left side of the game creator and click on the music tab. Now you can press the play button on any of these music tracks to preview them. And if there's one you like, just press the plus button to add it to your game. Since we have customized our game from head to toe, we are ready to publish it. Click the publish button at the top to publish your game. Now our game has been published. You can click the copy URL button to get a shareable link to share it with your friends and family. You can also press the play button to jump into playing your game. And you can embed the URL on your website if you'd like to share your game directly to your website. So we're gonna jump in and take a look at our game now.